In an interview with far-right news outlet Newsmax TV, newly elected QAnon conspiracy theorist Marjorie Taylor Greene announced that she has some big plans for the Biden administration. Uh, perhaps retaliation for Democrats voting to impeach Donald Trump a second time. Take a look. Congresswoman, I understand, though, you have something uh, pressing, something important and something new you'd like to share with everybody. Yes, I, I would like to announce on behalf of the American people, we have to make sure that our leaders are held accountable. We cannot have a president of the United States that is willing to abuse the power of the office of the presidency um, and be easily bought off by foreign governments, uh, foreign Chinese or Chinese energy companies, Ukrainian energy companies. So on January 21st, I will be filing articles of impeachment on Joe Biden. Wow. Oh, Marjorie. I feel like there's no way that anyone can take this individual seriously. Like, she reminds me of the uh, three kids, like, trope in a trench coat where they're, like, all standing on top of each other's shoulders trying to pretend to be an adult. That's basically, like, Marjorie Taylor Greene because everything that she says, it's so immature and juvenile. Like, she... Even, like, if she genuinely wanted to impeach Joe Biden, and that was her mission, she's going to look for anything. You know, she's going to go on a fishing expedition and find something to impeach him over. You might want to wait, if you want people to take you seriously, to announce that once he's sworn in. But to announce that you will be introducing articles of impeachment before he's even sworn in... That doesn't make you look like a serious person. That makes you look like an idiot, especially after the Republican Party purports that Democrats didn't actually impeach Donald Trump because he incited a violent insurrection. It's because, you know, they, they just don't like him politically. So way to make yourself look like a hypocrite, dumbass. <laughs> We cannot have a president of the United States that is willing to abuse the power of the office of the presidency and be easily bought off by foreign governments or Chinese energy companies, Ukrainian energy companies. So on January 21st, I will be filing articles of impeachment on Joe Biden. This is a Donald Trump supporter saying this. He has been in violation of the emoluments clause repeatedly and since the day he was sworn in, since he refused to put his businesses in a blind trust. So all the conflict of interest uh, that we see with Donald Trump, she doesn't care about that. Like, let's just go through some of the headlines and go back to her concerns. Uh, because anything that she says about Joe Biden and her concerns there is also applicable to Donald Trump. Look at these headlines. Quote, Ivanka Trump brand secures China trademarks on day U.S. President met Xi Jinping. 500 rooms were booked by Saudi-connected lobbyists at Trump's D.C. hotel in 2016 through 2017, report says. Jared Kushner's company curiously raked in $90 million since he joined the White House. You'll never believe it, but Trump and Kushner businesses got millions in PPP loans. Before his claims of corruption, Trump tried to build a resort in Ukraine. Trump's businesses raked in $1.9 billion of revenue during his first three years in office. And I mean, we can go on and on. But you get the point. She is impeaching Joe Biden uh, because we can't have a president of the United States that is willing to abuse the power of the office of the presidency and can be easily bought off by foreign governments. Well, what do we call that? What do we call Donald Trump? I mean, to her, it really is like a team sport. She just believes, look, I am on Team Republican, and whatever we can do to score points over the Democrats, that's what I'm going to do. It's just, honestly, uh, it's insane. And look, I am not a partisan hack. I am not a fan of Joe Biden. He's a conservative, and I am a socialist. So if Marjorie Taylor Greene is willing to give back her contributions that she received from Goldman Sachs and Koch Industries... Uh, maybe I would actually take her seriously when she claimed to care about, you know, conflicts of interest and money and politics. But the problem is that she is a fraud. She's a hack. She's inconsistent. See, I would love 
for someone to actually try to decommodify our elections in the United States. The reason why I don't support Joe Biden and supported Bernie Sanders over Joe Biden is because I do believe he's corrupt. I do believe that there are conflicts of interest created by those financial contributions. I supported Bernie Sanders over Joe Biden because my number one issue is Medicare for All and the health insurance industry was bankrolling Biden's campaign and they were betting on him to kill momentum for Medicare for All. So Joe Biden, of course, is a corrupt politician. This sort of corruption, like pay for access, you know, basically um, legalized bribes, this is common in D.C. So if she wants to do something about that, I have no qualms with that. But she doesn't actually care. This is about uh, her defending Daddy Trump, who she stands with 100%. That's basically her campaign pitch. It was on her website. Uh, Save America, defeat socialism, and I stand by Donald Trump 100%. Like, this is not a serious person. This is not someone who anyone should be taking seriously. But unfortunately, we're in this predicament where literal QAnon conspiracy theorists are elected to Congress. So we have to kind of take them seriously because what she does, the legislation that she introduces, will have a direct impact on our lives. Now, in terms of like her introducing articles of impeachment against Joe Biden, genuinely not even mad. I think it's hilarious. Uh, I love this because... As Joe Biden tries to extend an olive branch to Republicans once he's sworn in, they're going to repeatedly spit in his eyes, you know, slap him down at every chance, and this just proves it. Like, before he even is sworn in, they're already telling him to go fuck himself. So I love this because this helps make the left case that you can't work with Republicans, stop trying to reach across the aisle, acknowledge that these folks are absolutely insane, and maybe try to actually galvanize the Democratic Party's base, who wants popular policies like Medicare for All, a $15 an hour minimum wage, uh, med marijuana legalized federally. But I mean, I think that it doesn't matter what they do. Like, she can introduce articles of impeachment and like immediately I think there's going to be at least a dozen Republicans that support it. I'd be surprised if that weren't the case. And Joe Biden is still going to say, well, look, we have to work with them. Republicans are good people. We need a Republican Party. I uh, shows you how tone deaf he is. So look, I, I think this is hilarious. Um, you reap what you sow. You know, try to um, make friends with uh, a monster or a wild animal. Joe Biden, don't be surprised when it fucking bites you because this is what they do. Republicans are going to Republican and uh, that's never going to change.